All right, I'm back at it here, out in the shop, taking a look at the little Cadet Model 35 AC cabinet, or what's left of it, I should say. One clamp and a rubber band holding the, uh, the top there together, uh, just so I can shoot this video. The uh, lamination underneath the uh, veneer itself is separating here on the top so it looks like I'm going to have to uh, reproduce a new top for sure and maybe even a new front piece here as well. Uh, the sides are solid wood so I don't have any concerns here with the uh, sides. We'll do some uh, sanding there and uh, we can bring those back in shape and the base is no big deal um, underneath as well. Let me uh, slip over here and we'll take a look at it as well from behind. And you can see when I was putting the puzzle here together I took time just to throw some tape on there for now on the parts indicating uh, left side, right side and which way is facing uh, toward the uh, front. But uh, if that's showing up here you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. The uh, laminated uh, plywood here is uh, warped and a lot of water damage as well. All right, let me uh, kick things off here. I'm going to just take a piece out and uh, I'm going to look at the front here, or excuse me, the top here just a little closer and uh, just look at go ahead and removing the uh, veneer that's on there and just take a look at the substrate material, see if this is worth saving or not. Yeah, the more I look at this, I don't know if I want to try to salvage this top piece or not. You can see how the uh, substrate itself is all uh, cracked and uh, kind of given up. So I think I'll just do the uh, measurements here and uh, take a look at what it would take to uh, just rebuild the entire uh, top pieces here using uh, multiple pieces of real thin uh, plywood which I believe I have on hand out in the warehouse Larry if you're watching so uh, we'll have to uh, make a trip over to the warehouse and uh, see if I can find my box of uh, scrap plywood All right, looks like I may be in luck here. Um, back years ago, when I was doing a lot of cabinet work, more so than electronics, uh, National Balsa is a, a company I did business with here. In, uh, inside here are some brand new sheets of uh, 3 16 12 by 24 birch plywood, and also quarter of an inch. And I also uh, uncovered another uh, box out here as well. Some of this is uh, scraps, and uh, this came from, let's see if I can zoom in on this, D&D uh, &D Woodcrafts out of uh, Sailorsburg, PA. And I dug this one up as well. So I think when I rebuilt my uh, Crosley 516, this is some of the material I used, but I noticed down in the bottom here. I've got some uh, birch plywood as well, which will come in uh, really handy. And if my notes are accurate, it looks like a quarter inch, uh, the walnut plywood. And I've got some more eighth inch birch plywood and some uh, quarter inch MDF as well. So uh, that should uh, work out pretty nice here. Yeah, this looks really nice here. Never even used any of it. It's still uh, got the wrap on it here. So uh, let me take a piece of that out here and just take a look at it here. All right, looks like I'm set here with my uh, birch plywood that I already have on hand. And uh, you can see here the uh, 1 8 inch uh, birch that I have here will nicely uh, fit the uh, grooves. So I think I can just build this up here and uh, get the right height and uh, recreate the uh, top section. Then I'll uh, turn my focus back over here to the uh, front section and uh, see how to proceed there. I may be able to uh, salvage it. Yep, that's going to make a uh, 
nice fit there. You can see how the uh, other piece here for the front, that curvature piece, it's got a uh, substrate underneath the uh, veneer as well. And uh, that worked out uh, good for me. I've got another piece of uh, scrap plywood here that I found in another uh, location. And uh, we'll look to use it for our substrate for the uh, curve piece that uh, rolls off the uh, top here. I bought so much stuff years ago, I can't remember half the time that I um, saw this one's identified here. You can see it there. It's like uh, Bud Mosin Models Aircraft Plywood, 130 seconds of an inch thick. So uh, I may have to double this up for that uh, curvature piece. But uh, we'll see. I like the uh, flexibility here that it gives me to uh, form this over the uh, top. These curved areas right here can be tough to measure. I need to know what the length is. Uh, I can cut it before I form the uh, curve there in the birch substrate before applying the uh, new veneer. Picked up one of these uh, flexible rollers many years ago at a craft store. And uh, that's going to come in really handy for this. So uh, I'm going to do some double checking here, but about 7 and 3 eighths it looks like of an inch will be that top substrate piece that I need. Just thinking ahead when it comes time to bend the uh, substrate and the uh, veneer itself around this area. I was just looking back through, I've got this uh, surplus piece of uh, tube aluminum 6061. This is what I use to uh, create those uh, electrolytic can reproductions on the uh, Zenith. I'll put a little pop-up here if you guys are interested in seeing it. Just check the uh, right top corner of the screen here. But uh, I should be able to use this just fine as a, a nice form factor here. Soak the uh, plywood. We'll use some uh, heat and uh, let it set up for a period of time and we should be able to create the uh, necessary curvature here. After taking some time here to capture all the measurements, I uh, just want to go ahead and get everything set up, go outside, take advantage of this beautiful day, and uh, cut these uh, three pieces of uh, plywood. This first section, that being the tongue section or the bottom layer, is uh, 1 8 inch uh, birch. So that'll be my uh, first cut. And then you can see the other two cuts here, the uh, top piece that will roll around the uh, top. Hopefully it'll roll. It may crack all to pieces. Who knows? We'll know in time. It's a 1 32nd inch uh, birch. And then the other part of the substrate is 1 8th inch. So all three of these will be sandwiched together. Sorry about that, folks. Some breaking weather. And uh, then we'll go back and, um, like I said, just glue these together into a single piece and then that allows me to go back in and just clean up the edges really well with some uh, coarse sandpaper. Let's uh, get this all set up real quick and just go make a uh, couple cuts and then uh, take a look at the uh, three separate pieces real quick and then I'll do a quick dry fit um, into the uh, cabinet itself so you guys can get a general idea what it's going to look like when it comes back together. Of course, less this uh, curvature that we'll have to, uh, you know, try to create. After looking at the uh, front of the radio here, I think I can salvage this. It's obvious the uh, grill bar here is uh, all chipped and broke. That will need to be uh, repaired and or replaced and of course all new veneer that will be laying across this cabinet as well. I'm missing this decorative piece down here at the bottom. I saw that in some other photos that were available on Radio Attic. If somebody's got a better close-up photo of what that looks like, I'd like to see that so I could reproduce it. It's like a piece of metal 
kind of in the S curve. But the substrate is uh, not that bad. There's a little bit of separation, but I think I can glue it back together and clean out the uh, grooves well enough maybe to repurpose this piece. We'll see. You can see here I've got all the pieces cut, so I think my measurements are uh, pretty much spot on. We'll do some uh, sanding here just to uh, clean everything up. Next step is to get all the uh, substrate material glued together. We'll let that set up for uh, a number of hours. And then uh, we'll true everything up again as I noted by sanding. Birds are really enjoying this beautiful weather. Okay, folks, that kind of gives you a visual here, what it'll look like. Seems to be uh, laying down rather flush here. And again, nothing sanded. The substrates are uh, still loose, but uh, that's the way everything will kind of go back together. The uh, tongues there and the grooves, I still got to clean the grooves, probably do some sanding there, get the old glue out. And then once this uh, top substrate right here is placed down my plans are to uh, go back in and try to uh, soften up this real thin birch plywood hopefully it won't break off it could uh, we'll see how it works out and uh, shape it over the uh, top using that piece of aluminum uh, tubing so uh, Updates to uh, follow soon, folks. Thanks for watching uh, this short video and this uh, quick update on the uh, little cadet cabinet.